There we go. Okay. Okay, guys. <clears throat> what I drew is the market. Every market. I don't care if you're auctioning tomatoes, coffee, wheat, cattle, stock market. It all is relative to this. This is all you need to understand. This is every every MBA program after this, not worth it. Trust me. We have what's called imbalance. We have balance. Imbalance, balance, balance. Okay, this is the auction market theory. I don't care if it's art auction, wine auction, uh, Japanese, um, uh, a Japanese uh, fish market auction, everything, car auction, stock auction, auction market theory, all auctions. The market is an auction, an, an auctioning system, meaning for every buyer, there is a seller, there is another side. You have to have the other side in order to create a sale. HVN, high volume node, this is on the right hand side, this is your volume profile. These curves here, that is your standard deviation, standard deviation, this is your mean, these are your two standard deviations outside of. It's also your LVN, low volume node, high volume node, you have a low volume node within your auction market theory. What does an auctioneer do? An auctioneer uh, advertises price, the grocery market, your Apple store, anything. Seeking or always seeking your highest or your or in the capitalist society we're always seeking your highest bidder because your underlining components are always your input is always increasing. Well you have components, you have commodity components, you have labor components, you have insurance components, you have lawsuit components, you have all kinds of different components. It's called inflation. You always have inflation. If you don't have inflation, you have Japan. Look how much Look how much, remember the telephones? Yeah, okay, sure. Yeah, the telephones, when they first come out, you know, they were, what, 1000 bucks. Now they're four ninety nine. But it's But that's all relative, right? You used to be able to pick up a phone at Radio Shack for 10 bucks and make a phone call. The, the theory is that if, you're, if your input is always increasing, you must always be looking to advertise and seek new prices. Otherwise, we would just sit here in a big HVN. We would sit there in balance. Fair market value is within balance. That's where we are right now in the market. We're leaking outside of fair market value. Imbalance here. See this imbalance? Balance. This whole five, five, uh, five day volume profile. This whole three, that's balance. That's accepted price. Who, uh, who, who bought in here? Who bought in here? Besides the people that don't know what they're doing. But what was CNBC doing this morning? What was, what was the GDP number trying to do? Advertise. Trying to advertise to see if they can get higher prices in the market. Once that price is rejected, you come back in and you find the next level of acceptance. Rejected acceptance. Rejected acceptance. It will continue to rotate between balance, imbalance, acceptance, fair value, Imbalance is also uh, inefficient, inefficient prices. It's also advertising. You're advertising this here in this situation right here. You have a you're, and I'm going to go back to the iPod Mini, iPad Mini. You have your your store full of inventory. You just got bad news that that uh, you just got bad news that the iPad Mini wasn't all that it's cracked up to be. There's some defaults in it. You got to send it back for whatever reason. It's not going to sell. It's, it's great. It's not going to be a big, you know, crowd pleaser. Oh, oh, you know what? Oh, we found out that the demand is really high, but oh, Apple can't produce them. Guess what? Markdown price, advertise, advertise, twenty-four hours only, flash sale, um, two for one. Uh, come now, buy, buy, buy a PC, and we'll give you a, uh, we'll give you one. You're advertising to sell your inventory. Then you have a new inventory. You have bigger inventory, smaller inventory. You still have inventory. What do you have to do now? Oh, they came out with a fix. Okay, great. Now the demand picks up. Auction. There's a balance. You auction out. You auction out of this balance, imbalance. You create hype. You create excitement. You create buzz. This weekend only. You know, uh, living social deal. Well, you know, whatever. 
and you come into a balance. So that's what auction market theory is. It advertises, you advertise prices and you create balance and imbalance. That's what the volume shows. This is the median. This is the value. This is the value. Then on top of that you have, you have three areas within a balance area that you can trade. Just because you're in here doesn't mean you can't trade. But you can trade the outliers. You have the outliers. Value area, low. This is a lower range of the value. Higher value, low. This is a higher value of that range. Median. This is the average. The volume weight of average price. This is the average of what everybody's paying within this range. So, what happens? What happens if you come, you're in here, and you come like this? What happens? What do you want to do? Do you want to be a seller, or do you want to be a buyer? This is exactly what happened this morning. They start to advertise. What happens? Reject. Where does it go now? Back into balance. Guess what? This little, let's call it a shakeout, is a failed auction. A failed auction you will reject back into it where it came from. That is a previous balance area. If you come within, if you come back up into the previous balance, you have an 80% chance, 80% chance that you will now go to the other side. You will test the other side of the range. What is this? This is a high, uh, this is the uh, value area high, V-A-H, V-A-L. Is that not what the market's doing right now? Remember, it's an auction market. Everything in life does the same thing. Everything. I don't, I don't care if I just drew. Guess what I could have just drawn right there? Carrying capacity. Carrying capacity of an enclosed uh, farm full of rabbits and carrots. It's a cycle of life. This is the cycle of life, which is also called 618 or golden ratio. This is life right here. I don't care if we're talking about hum uh, going, a human being. Same thing. It all is relative, and it's all encompassing. That means a good trade to buy in the low of the market profile and sell. Absolutely. When you are in balance. Okay, so, okay, let's say that this, t now let's say that this tests, this tests value area uh, high. Okay, that tests the value area high. Now what? What are you going to do? Are you going to buy right here? Do you buy right here? You wait for acceptance. You wait for rejection. You wait for the auctioneer to start advertising prices higher. You want to buy, um, you want to find, we're here. We're here right now. Okay? Where do you want to buy? Do you want to buy as soon as we cross? Some people will. Absolutely. But then what happens if you just get, if you just top ticked? What happened if you're top tick? We had, <laughs> we had a guy on the floor. His name is <laughs> Tommy. We call him top, t top Tick Tommy. This guy, no matter what, it could not. He top ticked everything. It was hilarious. If Tommy was buying, we were selling. If Tommy was buy is selling, we were buying. It was hilarious. Top Tick Tommy. We're going to go back to, so how do, you, how do you know where to buy if you come outside? Relative price. Where do you get your relative price from? The last area of fairness, of fair value. Let's draw this out. That, ex that extends out into eternity. That extends out into eternity. Guess where you're going to buy? Where are you going to buy based on the fact that if you enter into a value area, you have an 80% chance. You're going to wait until you buy. You're going to wait until this is a no-buy zone right here. No-buy zone because the probabilities are against you. You don't know what direction this is going. You don't know if you're going to be top tick. Last thing I want to do is be top tick. That's that's for rookies. And remember, this is a professional game. You want to buy within. You want to buy right in here. Value area low of the previous balance. Fair value area. Okay? Because then what? What happens then? Then everybody starts to say, oh, oh, wait, wait a minute. That Apple iPod mini did get fixed, and it's all good now. It's great. I want one. Well, okay, here. Let me uh, Let me sell you one. Well, you only have so much inventory, right? So, and the costs are increasing. I just had to advertise. I just had to pay more out of my margin. So, you're going to be a buyer here. You get 80% chance you're going to top. You're going to uh, check this level, right? Then, 
maybe uh, the stores will run out, maybe they can't keep, uh, uh, keep it in stock, they can't make it fast enough, maybe there's a, a flood in Thailand and, uh, and the manufacturers of the semiconductor chips had to ship down, set down, maybe one of the boats hit an iceberg on the way over, who knows, a typhoon, you got it, you got the idea, right? That's it. 